Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. I'm so excited to be here with you today. We are going to be making this fun stand up fun fold card. It stands up like so. And the back part goes out and the card stands up like this. This is what the front looks like and it fits into a regular size envelope. It's a birthday card. We're using the owl from Wonderful Wildlife Wonder. This whole week I have been using um, the bundle on the horizon and when you get that bundle you get this stamp set here and these dies they're amazing and definitely check them out I have um, five other videos using them so check that out um, we're going to be using some of that we're also going to be using wildlife wonder we're going to be using the owl here the sending birthday wishes that's out of there. And then we're using the layering circle dies, which if you guys don't own these yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I have used this scalloped circle and this smooth circle. And that is what the owl is going to live on. So we're going to use that in a minute. So let's go ahead and get started stamping. So I normally use my Simply Scored when I do <clears throat> any kind of cards that have special folds or the like. So I'm gonna open the card for you for you to see it. And this is what it looks like. It's still a piece of four and a quarter by 11 inches of <clears throat> pale papaya cardstock. On the other side, you can see that we have some score marks in this section here and then this section is smooth. So even the back has an area for you to type, type, write <laughs> what you wanna say. And then the front is this really cool pop-up card. It's just a wow, and I really love it. So today is Fun Fold Friday. We're gonna go ahead and roll with it. So like I said, we're using a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of pale papaya cardstock. Hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see everything on screen and we'll work through it a little at a time. So we're gonna start um, by getting all of our scoring done and out of the way. So this four and a quarter by 11 inch piece, we're gonna go ahead and put it into the trimmer. So I'm gonna pull my paper trimmer out and there it is. And we're gonna score this at four and a half. Now this darker blade cuts and this lighter blade scores. So we're gonna open our trimmer up and we're gonna put at four and a half. So here's four, here's five. And the big line in the middle is four and a half. So we're gonna drop that down and we're going to score and that's the only score mark that goes a full length across the whole piece okay so we're going to do that now we're going to flip the card sock and we're going to place the longer side of the card base because here's the score mark you see how this is much bigger than this so we're going to place the longer side of the card base in the trimmer and we're going to line up the left side which is this side at the two inch mark. So we're going to slide it in here at the two inch mark and I'm going to stand up. I was sitting for a minute, but I'm going to stand up so I can really see so I can help you guys. So we're going to put that at the two inch mark. We're going to drop this blade down. And again, we just want to use the scoring blade. <clears throat> so when we flip the card, so I'm going to put the longer piece in at the two inch mark. We're going to score from the top right here down to the one inch mark. Okay, so here's a one inch mark on our side here of our trimmer. So we're just going to slide this down and there's a little mark on the score blade that shows where the blade is. And we're going to stop at that one inch mark and pull it back again to the one inch mark and pull it back. Now, as long as I don't pull down, I can slide this across and we're going to go to this side. <clears throat> and we're going to go from the three and a quarter inch mark right here, so three and a quarter to the end. So we're just gonna press it down and, and pull. Again, I'm gonna bring it to the three and a quarter, press it down and pull. So those are those two score marks. So now we're gonna have two score lines, one from the top to the one inch and one from the three and a quarter down to the end of the card. All right, so that's the first that's the first um, mark that you're gonna make. Now we're gonna slide this paper to the one inch. Okay, so we're gonna now put this at the one inch. We had it at the two inch. 
Now we're going to put it at the one inch. It's going to go at the one inch. And again, we're going to go ahead and close our paper trimmer. And I'm just going to slide this down to this side. And we're going to repeat, okay? So now that it's on the one inch, we're going to go from the top to the one inch mark, okay, and back. I'm going to do it one more time to the one inch mark and back. And then we're also going to slide it and we're going to do from the three and a quarter to the end and back to the three and a quarter to the end. All right. Looks good so far, everybody. So the, the four and a quarter inch, this piece here. <clears throat> so now we're gonna put this piece in the trimmer. So now we're gonna put the four and a quarter inch, which is this way, we're gonna turn it. We're gonna put it in the trimmer where these score marks that we just made down here All right, so we've made these score marks. We're gonna put that in where we're now gonna cut on this top section, the shorter part, okay? And we're gonna line it up at the one inch and we're gonna cut from the one inch score mark to the line at the full score mark at the top, okay? So we're gonna cut this long section right here so we're gonna cut from the one inch. <clears throat> so we're gonna put this at the one inch right here on the side. Okay, we're gonna move the, we're gonna cut now. We're gonna bring the cut mark to the one inch mark. Okay, so we're gonna drop that blade right on the side where it's one inch. And we're gonna score that this way until we get to the score mark that we have right here. All right, so we're gonna press down. And the score mark falls to the six and a half inch mark. So we're going to stop right there. Now we're going to line this up with the one inch on this side. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to place this in here. We're going to put this at the one inch mark. And we're going to stop where we get to the six and a half inch mark right here. Okay. So now we have two cuts. We have two scores. <clears throat> so we're almost there. Now we need to score between the cut lines one inch down from the full score mark. So here's the full score mark, the one that went all the way across. We wanna come down one inch from there. So we're gonna place that score mark on the one inch mark right on our trimmer here and we're going to score in between those two marks where we cut so we're going to get our cutting blade out of the way we're going to bring our scoring blade back up here so we're going to come to the one inch mark and we're going to score and we're going to stop at the three and a quarter inch mark so there's the one inch mark and the three and a quarter inch mark all right so let's pull it out so we have two score marks down here, all right? We have <clears throat> this score mark up here and this full score mark right here. That's all the scoring we're gonna do. So now we're gonna use our bone folder and we are gonna burnish on all the score marks. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do them first with our fingers. So this is the one we did in between the two cut marks. I'm gonna go ahead and keep those straight. We're gonna get that one, okay? Then we have two marks right here. This one's gonna go down. This one's gonna go up. This one's gonna go down. This one's gonna go up, okay? So once we have those where we want them, we're gonna lift and press down and we are gonna burnish these score marks with our bone folder. We're just gonna press up and get nice burnish. 
on our piece. We're also going to make sure that our bottom is lined up. And we're going to make sure that we hold that in place when we burnish here. And then the main score mark in the back, we're going to bring that down and we're going to burnish that main score mark. So now we have a piece that stands up like this. So it's our little stand up front of our card. Let's go ahead and glue all of our designer series paper into place. So for the designer series paper, we're using the New Horizons paper. And this has um, like a green and white on the back. And we're gonna use the same pale papaya on both sides. And these pieces are five, uh, seven eighths by four and three eighths. And then we're gonna have a piece right here that's going to be in this section. And this piece is um, two and one eighth by four and three eighths. Okay, so those are the two sizes of the designer series paper. We also need a strip for this bottom section. I'll show you the card. And the strip for this bottom section is seven eighths by four and an eighth. So that's gonna go across right here. All right, we're also gonna glue onto the back like we did here. That piece is four by four and a quarter. So here's our four by four and a quarter. Now you can see I stamped on this piece of this um, background and we're gonna use that again. And then we'll trim it after we've stamped on it to make sure that we have it nice and straight. So let's go ahead and get started gluing our pieces together. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue these pieces in place, these long skinny pieces. I'm gonna move this to the side here. And I'm gonna get my silicone mat. We'll get our wet adhesive. I like it because I can move it around and wiggle it around, so we're gonna use that. All right, we'll start with this one. And we're gonna glue that in this panel right here. And you just make sure that you have the sides equal, which is why I like using um, this wet adhesive because I can move it into place. Let's do the other side. And that panel is gonna go on this side here. And this is the two pieces that were seven eighths by four and three eighths. All right. So now we have a piece that goes in the middle and I definitely wanna stamp it before I glue it down. So we're gonna go ahead and bring our stamp in. We're gonna use crumb cake and we're gonna stamp these really cute birds at the top, like they're flying across the sky. So we're just gonna put them right there. All right, and now, we can flip it over. We're gonna put some adhesive on the back. And now we can glue this piece into place. So this one goes down here, right along these edges and make sure that you have a nice Order, and that's why I said I like that wet glue because I can wiggle it over if I need to. Get it to line up really nice. Okay, so there's that part. So here's that. Now let's stamp our sending birthday wishes right across that white, basic white. We're gonna do that in garden green. So it says sending birthday wishes. Get it nice and inked up. I'm gonna bring it down here where I can see. Hopefully you guys can still see. And I'm gonna try and get that centered nicely. Isn't that a cool stamp? I really like it. Let's go ahead and clean those and the bird. The birds that were flying across our piece. Get them out of the way so we don't make a mess. I'm gonna close this ink pad for right now. And we're gonna go ahead and put adhesive on the back of our sending birthday wishes.
And same thing, we're gonna lay this down. We're gonna make sure that it's even on all the sides. I think that looks pretty awesome. All right, so there's our sending birthday wishes. So now we need to stamp the back. So for the back, we're gonna stamp the birds again, and it's gonna be on this piece of four by four and a quarter, and it's gonna go right here. So I'm gonna bring that here. We're gonna bring the birds. We're gonna put one at the top and one on the bottom. So we're done with the birds. And then we're gonna use garden green for all, for the rest of our stamping back here. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that ink pad into place. And we're gonna stamp, relax and enjoy your day. So we'll ink that up, put that right here, relax and enjoy your day. And then we're gonna stamp wishing you so much happiness. And that is the piece that I'm gonna put on this piece of designer series paper. So let's go ahead and ink it up. Wishing you so much happiness. I'm gonna just stamp that down here. Ooh, a little crooked, that's okay. Since I haven't cut the paper, I can cut it now and we can straighten it up, so it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that away and then we will line it up here and do the best we can to straighten that out because I made kind of a mess, didn't I? <laughs> All right, I think we're good now. We're just cut. And let's finish this side, bring that in. Luckily, that's why I um, didn't cut it because I didn't want to mess up. But there are our words and they're straight now. No one would ever know that I cut them crooked. So we're gonna grab our silicone mat and we are going to put some adhesive on the back. Whoops, on the back, there we go. I couldn't get it flowing. And we're gonna add that to our piece here, right under relax and enjoy your day. Wishing you so much happiness. And then let's go ahead and put adhesive on the back here. I love this wet glue. All right, let's attach it onto the back of our card. So that's gonna go here. And that looks pretty awesome. All right, time for our owl on the front. Let me clean my stamp here. I'm gonna show you a little trick for the owl. So when we do our owl here, we're gonna grab our basic white cardstock and we're gonna grab our owl stamp and we'll need our crumb cake ink. I'm gonna also use this blending brush. I'm gonna grab some ink and I'm gonna actually rub it onto my stamp. And I wanna make sure that I get plenty on there so I'm gonna do it three times. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and stamp it onto the circle. And there is our owl. Isn't he cute? So cute. That gives us a little bit paler color and it's gonna sink into the um, paper and it's gonna lighten over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my owl stamp. And let's go ahead, while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna tie my bow. So you can see here I have an, a, um, a bow in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and cross my two loops here, make bunny ears, cross them in an X and bring the one that's in the front through the back there's a little hole down here. Once I bring it through, I'm gonna release that leg there. And I'm just gonna pull slowly, cause I like to have small, small ends on my bows. And if you um, pull too tight, there we go. You need to make sure that they're nice and short. There we go. So that looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna glue this owl onto my circle. I'm gonna use also the wet adhesive. 
I should have grabbed my mat because I could make a mess, but I'm living on the edge. If you saw my video yesterday where I shook the camera, <laughs> you'll see that not much flusters me. <laughs> so on the back of this, we're going to go ahead and put some dimensionals. I'm going to do three. And I'm going to pull the backs off with my take your pick tool. And for the ribbon, I'm going to use um, a mini glue dot. So they come on a roll and you just want to grab one and attach it to the back of the knot of your ribbon of your bow that you tie. So you just want to grab that. So I'm going to put that upside down because I'm not ready to place it until I put the owl on here. So I'm going to add my owl. I'm going to put him kind of halfway on the um, green and this peachy pink color right there. And then we're going to add the bow at the bottom. Get that to stick. And then I am going to um, trim these ends. So I'm gonna, I have two paper snips. I have one that I use for paper and this pair with this dangle I use for ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim this a little bit shorter. And then we're going to trim this end because it's way too long. That looks pretty awesome. And then for the finishing touch of our card, we are going to use the In Color Jewels. These are on last chance, so get them while you can. And I'm using this dark green color. I'm gonna use the putty end of my Take Your Pick tool to pick it up. So I'm gonna grab one, I'm gonna put it up here. Grab another one, maybe right there, and a small one to go with it. That looks pretty great. I'm happy with that. And let's clean up after ourselves. Put our two cards side by side. You can see that the background paper is just a little bit different, but that's okay. Makes it perfect. Again, the measurements were four and a quarter by 11 for the pale papaya. The two pieces for the sides were seven eighths by four and three eighths. The piece in the middle was two and an eighth by four and three eighths. This piece down here of basic white was seven eighths by four and an eighth. And then for the back of the card this was four by four and a quarter and then I just use scraps of DSP for this wording down here and scraps for the circle and for the owl piece so I hope that you enjoyed watching me put this together I certainly enjoyed making it for you I hope that you will join me again as I bring you more videos um, I do put videos out about five days a week so definitely check my content I always have lots of inspiration for you and I do do um, stamp sets and bundles for about a week. So thanks for watching. Check out my blog, inkyhandswarmhearts.com. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Please um, hit me up in the comments below, send me an email, or um, just purchase from my online store. Let me know that you would like to receive um, notifications of sales and promotions. I'd be happy to do that for you. Thank you for um, hanging with me till the end. I really appreciate it. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, and ask your friends to subscribe too. Get those notifications of when I post the videos. And I will see you around, guys. Thanks for staying with me. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping!